Hi everyone, October 25, 2018. I have some more information on Chris Haskell, the geoengineering activist in Arizona who was arrested and charged, charged with under terrorism charges. It, it's shocking what has happened to this country. And I want to say that the police state continues. Doesn't matter that Trump is in the White House. Our police state is, we don't live in a free country. That United States that we lived in decades ago is gone. 9-11, 2001, that was the day that ushered in our official police state, and it has only gotten worse right on up to this very day. Geoengineering, geoengineering activist Chris Haskell was facing 15 to 20 years in federal prison for putting up signs about chemtrails and geoengineering. We live in a very frightening country now. State of Arizona versus Chris Allen Haskell. I will link below to this interview if you don't know what happened to Chris. But I just received an email from a subscriber, a subscriber I trust. Chris got three years probation. He has to wear a tracking device, no marijuana, and he has to move out of Tucson he has been judged a threat to the community. He's not allowed any firearms and he's not allowed to live with anyone who has firearms. Now this is interesting. He has been incarcerated indefinitely until he can find housing that meets the approval of the state of Arizona, outside of Tucson. How do you do that if you are incarcerated? That's where family is very important. If you do not have family, then, well, I guess maybe the state of Arizona would allow him to look for housing, not incarcerate him? If that's the case, then the incarceration is just, it's merely punishment. Because there's no way that anybody could find housing if they're incarcerated behind bars. So he would be held throughout the rest of his life, if that were the case. But you incarcerate somebody because they're a threat, so much a threat, that they cannot be in the community. They cannot be free. They have to be behind bars in a locked cell because they're so dangerous. This is our country now. And I have to tell you, Chris Haskell and other and others who have faced being arrested, thrown in jail due to well, merely speaking the truth. It is very difficult because you really need to understand the details of every single case and even with all of those details, if you are not the client 
who has been arrested, then you don't know all of the details that are confidential, the attorney-client privilege. So when I just get a few details of these cases, it drives me nuts because it doesn't make any sense. The only sense it makes is that they are arresting innocent people who fight these agendas. And it is so unbelievable that this man, who never had any record, no prior record, just makes signs, holds them up to educate people, to make them aware of the toxic aerosol spraying that is going on every single day. Arizona has a lot of activists and they arrest this man. Clearly because he was a threat to the powers that be. That's, that's it. He was a threat to the globalists. He was a threat to Bill Gates, who was, who was creating a smart city. You have the mega region. They bringing Phoenix and Tucson and uh, another area together. So he's a threat to the United Nations plans to reshape this country and the world into their lovely new world order, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, chemtrail spraying, the aerosol spraying, the ionization of our atmosphere for the smart grid, all of it is connected. I do think that Chris has a family, has a father at least, that will help him. There were the, the source of all of this is his sister. And there's familial discord, sibling discord between he and his sister. Families who are so sick and twisted, you know, siblings that can do anything to their sister or brother to destroy them. I just hope that he gets out of jail soon. Finding another place to live will cost money. So I will link below to any account that he has that you can donate. I think it's PayPal, but I will get the link. If you can help him out, that would be really good. This is a scary time that we are living. We need to come together and support one another. Otherwise, we just let people go down. Very disturbed by the information that I got today. Indefinitely detained. Has to move out of Tucson. You're such a threat to the community, Chris that you have to leave the community. You have to wear a tracking device. We have to know where you are 24 seven, as if they couldn't know through other methods. It should disturb everybody. It should 
alarm everybody. It should shock people that this is taking place in the freest country in the world. All links are below. Oh, I also want to share this. This is uh, Sophia Smallstorm's blog, her website. And she has a lot of very good information on here regarding weather modification, geoengineering, global warming with a question mark, population control, tree decline, Morgellon syndrome, transbiology, consciousness, how they are, how they are changing our consciousness, artificially induced consciousness that resembles sleep. They have created a repressive society and we are their unwitting accomplices. Their intention to rule rests with annihilation of consciousness. And it's happening, guys. With the frequencies, with all of the poisons and the toxins in our food, water, and air. Consciousness is being held down. And we are the only ones who can try to raise that consciousness. Yeah, within the communities that we live in, like Chris Haskell. You know what this does, though? It scares people. And they will be less inclined to speak the truth when they see what is happening to people who speak the truth. But what we need to do is get more courage and get out there. Because the more we see out there, the more it will give courage to other people to get out there. When so few are out there, this is what happens to them. There's power in numbers. Please never forget that.